Welcome to the Q&R show with Richard from NZF Photo and Quentin from Mickey Thompson. Well, what are we, episode one now, Quentin? Yep, that's right. Uh, last episode was episode zero. I think we did that to get our uh, feet on the ground and uh, just get a feel for it, and I think it's going pretty well. We've had great feedback from you guys. Appreciate that. That's what we yep. want. We need the feedback so we can make this show for you. Yeah, I mean, episode zero was probably, mm. yeah, ground yeah. zero, which, uh, let's not talk about that, though. Yep. And... Um, yeah, so what what do we got going on? So, as we sort of do, is our contents are coming up in this episode. Yep. So we've got our first interview, uh, so I'll introduce him shortly. We've got um, footage from the 11th, he went out to the Mickey Thompson Racing Day. How was that? Oh, so it was epic. Uh, Tony McCool said, get there as soon as you possibly can. Saw a Pro 4, roll it. Um, I think it was a monster truck. Yeah, that looked pretty nasty. Was yeah. he okay? Uh, yeah, he was, which was great. Mm. But it was fantastic entertainment at the same time. Yep. Actually, there's quite a few incidents that happened. Um, but that shows commitment by yep. the drivers. So why don't we have a look at a bit of the footage that happened in February at the Mickey Thompson Stadium Racing. Check this out. Check us out on the 25th. And that's the Mickey Thompson Stadium Off-Road Racing. Richard, where are you? Are you pushing up, Ram? Come on. Well, that was some crazy footage. Oh, yeah. that's so good, eh? Every time we go to that show, just something <laughs> different happens. And yeah. there was plenty of action. Plenty of action. Wow, that's brilliant. So the next event is on the 11th of March. So the dates change, but it's 11th of March. It's better weather. It'll be like being in Hawaii and watching the motorsport out there at Collindale Have Park. you got a pina colada there for us, mate? Oh, of course. <laughs> um, and we'll have waitresses and everything and waiters. Oh, decent. Yeah. So, um... Oh, look, you meet such amazing people yep. at, at the event, um, had great chats with them. So, uh, yeah, come up, let's have a chat, we'll talk about tyres, whatever you want. Um, there's a few people who had a few too many drinks as yeah. well, but that makes them even more. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely, always for a good time. So we're on to the events that are happening around the country um, over the next month or so. So first of all, we've got the Novoinch Battle of the Palace uh, Teams event up in Dargaville. So that is a closed event for spectators, unfortunately. So no spectators up there. Uh, but the guys run an awesome event up there. It's been going for years now. A great way for teams of three trucks to go and enjoy um, some awesome tracks and help each other out and hopefully take it away. We've also got the Trials event um, in um, March, on the 5th of March, uh, the Combi Clap 404 Trials event hosted by the Manama 2 4 Drive Club. Uh, sorry, the uh, Battle of the Palace is actually in April, uh, 7th to the 10th of April. And then the big one is the 4x4 Auckland Expo. Uh, so that's going to be up in the Kumu Showgrounds uh, from the 21st to the 23rd of April. First of its kind, going to be quite cool. Something that's going to be what we've seen in Australia. You guys might have seen anybody who's gone over there and be able to see all accessory companies, vehicle companies coming in one spot to check everything out. That's been pretty cool. I guess the difference from Australia is our signs will be out the right way and we won't be <laughs> drinking 4X. <laughs> Fair cool, um, yeah. Brilliant. I'm excited about that. Jeez. Oh, yep. Well, I won't be home much, wife. So, you know. <laughs> You're going to be busy. Yeah. Sorry, wifey, I'm going to be taking him a lot of the time. <laughs> so what we're going to be doing is getting into our first interview for the Q&R yeah. podcast show. So without further ado, we'll introduce... Well, here we are with Kerry Louie from Troll Racing, the new Mickey Thompson racer. So, Kerry, uh, what brings you to the scene? Uh, well, I've just been around a while, and uh, Mickey Thompson gave me a call. Knew I had a new truck available that I've been spending 10 years to build. So uh, they wanted a new, new truck for off-road racing to sponsor, so we came to the party. Nice. Yeah. I was going to say, I've uh, known Kerry for quite some time. I actually bought his previous off-road racing truck of him. Yep. Uh, Duty old Nissan Patrol with an LS in it. It's a badass weapon. Uh, he used to race that um, quite some yep. time ago in the Class 6 racing. So it's really cool. Yep. So now you've built this new Pro 4 truck, is it called? Yeah, it's a new Pro 4. It's a mid-mount uh, LS3 uh, four-wheel drive. Uh, we're running 33s at the moment, Mickey Thompson's. Uh, got them all nice and sharp. So we're going to try and run those next week on a bit of a trial. 
and then we're going to head out there on the 11th of March. Wicked, that's going to be cool. Yeah, should be really good. First run in it, so yeah. that'll be nice, yeah. Decent. Yeah. Well, check out some of these uh, photos and footage of it. As you can see, that's a pretty mean machine. Uh, I got to go down to Kerry's personal workshop and check it out. Far out, man. That thing, I've seen it. You're building it over the few, few years, obviously. Yeah, but nine years, yeah. Yeah, it's Been decent. But um, that's going to be even better in person. I, uh, I heard it's got um, 650 horsepower under the bonnet. Yeah, around about that, and 550 uh, newton means of torque. So oh, yeah. should, oh, brilliant. Should go pretty good. That sort of torque <laughs> just gets me excited. I mean, I, I reckon they got nitrous on it, and uh, it's going to take off, you know. Um, Putin's got a button, and your button's bigger than that, so <laughs> holy crap, when he pushes that, wait, watch that go. First jump, you're going to be through the air. And, just remember, you got to turn corners, right? Yeah, you've still got to go around the corner. Uh, <laughs> it'll be like dust for Dania to the rest of them, as the Russians would say. So you want some action? Yeah. Get on oh, down. Yeah, you're going to make us proud. You're going to test out those Baja bosses. Yep. Got the Baja boss shirt, so... You are the boss. Yeah, I'm the boss. <laughs> Mate, they're the world's toughest tyres, the best traction tyre in New Zealand. If you don't yeah. have Mickey Thompson's, you don't have a four-wheel driving on, stay a real stadium truck, I reckon. That's right. So, yeah. yeah. Good for the Pro 4, so that's good. Action, that's what we want to see. And um, best thing about it, we don't own the truck, but we damn well <laughs> tell you we do, because it's a lot <laughs> But, um, yeah, let's, ch let's check out the action on the day. Well, here we are with Tony McCall, legendary off-road racer here in New Zealand. Won the most races here in New Zealand, also been banned and fined the most. Tony, a legend, mate. Yeah, yeah, I've been around for a while. <laughs> been around for a while now. Um, I'm off my band now, so uh, I'm going to get another car and give it a bash. Everybody but... loves a bad boy. Yeah, well, I thought I'd... I got banned, so I thought, oh, well, I'm done with it. So a mate of mine rang up to say hello, and I said to him, uh, oh, I'm done with this, I'm, I'm out of it. And he says, oh, we want to sell a car? And I, I said, I'm done, yep. So he says, I'll pick it up on Wednesday. So the car went. So uh, we watched the last meeting, we've come off the van, so we've, we've got another car lined up. Jeez, Tony, I mean, when you were a young kid, you're probably in that sand pit, all the other kids left, and your mother just didn't want to claim you, right? <laughs> but there's one thing I know about you, I've seen you drive my truck around the track, and um, you know how to work a track. Yeah, well, you know, you know, when you get a bit of experience, you know, it's not like racing on tar seal. So dirt tracks are a little bit different. So they actually develop a cush around the corner. So what I used to do is um, get the back wheel stuck in the cush and you could push the cush up higher and keep the momentum going around the turn. Because what happens on a dirt track, you'll get a hole in the corner. So, you know, you hit the hole and you bounce out of shape. So the main thing with off-road racing is keep the momentum up mm. with, a lot of, with a lot of sports. Is, so when, when it develops that cush, you can fire the back wheel until it stops from spinning out, get around the corner quicker. So, um, you, you know, it's just a different style of driving. A lot of guys drive up to the corner, slam their foot on the brake, and then give it a bit of opposite lockout. Well, I used to just roll the throttle back a bit so you don't over rev the engine. And when you go into the corner, you accelerate into the corner, yeah. right? And then you just, depending how fast you're going into the corners, how far you fire it in. So just, that slows you down because you fire it in sideways, yeah. you know, and, and that, that takes the momentum out of it and gets you in the turn. Yeah, I mean, accused of taking no prisoners and uh, probably, you know, taking to the extreme and, you know, maybe causing a few accidents or maybe pushing them along and encouraging them to go fast. And you, we saw it at the stadium racing. It's an event that you're behind. You get out there and promote it and supported by the off-road racing um, community. And yeah. Look, we've got some uh, hot shoes turning up. We've got the, 
uh, one of the boys went up to America and did nine meetings in America and, right. and wow. got uh, one USA one got USA one on his car. So really? so Hamish is racing. Uh, he, he's worth a watch, uh, and he's just picked up a big sponsorship up in America. So he's going back up there to run this season. But he's going to be there on, on the 11th. Uh, we've got Andrew Hawkswood, uh, an old rally flipper, um, come to his senses. He's got a truck. He's racing. We've got Carl Reuterman. Oh, yeah. You know, um, he used to be a drifter, won a couple yeah. of drifting things. You know, that um, uh, he, he was a drifter, so he's into it. And he picked up NZ1 this year. So, so he's there with a brand new car. And um, if you Australians watching, because uh, I know you are. Um, Look, Aussies are used to racing out in the desert somewhere. Yeah. So the only things they race in front of is like a kangaroo, <laughs> maybe a koala bear, but we actually race in front of humans. So re seriously, you know, it's when you're in those enduros, no one really knows who's winning. Yeah. No one can tell whether you're a good driver or a bad driver. But you know, when you're on a 1.2 kilometer track with everybody yeah. watching, you can sort of tell who the good drivers are. It is so good. Yeah. Chris Weston, we're calling you out. Come on, yeah. just what you got. You also drive on, um, you know, the Mickey Thompsons. We know you know how to drive, but yeah. can you beat Kerry? There we go, we're putting down it. That's the one on the table. Yeah, right. it's, come on. Hey, we've got some other hot shoe um, Pro Fours turning up. Yeah. You know, so uh, Paul Hackett's got the Johnny Greaves. It actually, this truck won the, the World Off-Road Racing Champs in 2019. Yeah. He's running that truck, oh, yeah. had a bit of an accident. Uh, first day out, but um, luckily he owns a composite um, company mm -hmm. to repair that fiberglass and that <laughs> composite, whatever it is. So he's going to fix that up. He's going to be back. Um, you know, we've got probably six Pro 4s. So, really? and, and they've all got like eight or 900 horsepower. Oh, Mate, I'm getting my calendar sorted. So, yeah, the event's 11th of March. Yeah? It's worth a, it's worth a watch. What time does yeah. racing start? 11.30. 11.30. 11 sort of over yeah. about four. Mm. Decent. Um, yeah. yeah. Wicked day out for the family. Definitely bring the kids along. There's awesome action to see all around the, all around the um, track. Free and, tickets. Uh, free free ticket. tickets. Oh, yeah? That's Come on. Time. Yeah, like, whatever. Send us a message. Challenge us. Did get a challenge for you. Oh, yeah? Yes, at the stadium racing. I was yes. Talking to this uh, young fella, he uh, said he wants uh, your staff to do the bucket challenge, Richard. Oh, here we go, here we I go. I said, what's the bucket challenge, is that? And he goes, it's whatever you want it to be. So they have spoken to your staff and um, yeah, mm. expect that when you're unexpected. Okay, yeah. yes, well, this will yeah. be interesting. It will be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, guys, that was yeah. awesome. So we had Kerry Louie on from Troll Racing and then Tony McCall, ex road racer, a legend in New Zealand to run us through how the racing is going to be. So we'll see you on the 11th. Awesome, guys. Thank you, Tony. Shot, Tony. Thank you, Kerry. Well, it's been a busy episode. Two yeah. guests on. That's been awesome. Yeah. So I think for the, um, as we said in the original episode zero, we want to get footage from you guys. In the next episode, we're going to be showing you some of that first footage we've received. It's been awesome feedback so far. Um, there's been some laughs. We've uh, pre-recorded some of it. So I already know it's going to be good. But when you see this video, myself, we're going to begin with our Darcy Solar Lamp in Quinton. What have you got? Mickey Thompson, coffee oh, mate. Tom uh, that would have been helpful lately. Our power got cut off. Oh, right true. Yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely. Even go camping. Awesome, Brilliant. guys. Well, the first person to get footage, footage submitted after seeing this video, we went in these two items. So get in with your footage from anywhere out across the country. Anything four-wheel drive related. Yep. We're happy to see it. Keen. Wicked guys, remember to like, subscribe, and comment on the video so we can get back your feedback, and we will have spot prizes for that as well. And to finish with the video, Got our uh, Dachi product review. <laughs> so last episode we talked about the Safari 4x4 snorkel. This yeah. time we got something special where we Dachi have developed the new composite pole. So an unbreakable swag pole. Oh, we'll see about that. Yeah. Oh, boys, go get the big 58 inches, the biggest four-wheel drive in New Zealand, Australia, and you, the world. The tyre, oh yeah. 58 inch. Decent. Check that beast out. Catch you next time. Catch you next time. Get this bad boy ready. Oh, that would be more fun.
As you can see, composite poles are fine.